everybody, this is the Fanatic. Uh, anyone who's been on my channel before, this might look familiar to you. Hey, sport, you ready? Uh, well, I decided to. I've got our orders. I was looking for a game to play again, the so I thought. Still steps eh, off as planned. I enjoyed playing Microsoft for the couple minutes the that I played. That we get to go in first, so I thought, like old eh, times. let's play the, the actual Intel campaign this time. So up a set of nasty I guess it's going to be the third let's play on the channel right now, online, including Digimon Story, Cyber Story, which is a Nuzlocke and Tail Concerto. So our little team gets to make a covert landing outside the range. So now I'm going to have three uploads a week, hopefully. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so I was looking for something to play. I was thinking about playing something on the PS2, like. And some I don't know, Stretch toys. Panic I picked up recently and yeah, I heard it was this. weird, but I don't know anything else about it above that. But I thought both of the other games I'm playing right now are on Sony consoles. So, I'm gonna play something on the Xbox this time. I don't know, maybe later on you'll see me play something on a Nintendo console. I have them. So, yeah. Just getting through this opening cutscene again. I'm pretty sure y'all watched this before, but whatever. I want you out of this crease now. Brace yourselves, boys. We're going in. I didn't want to make my channel completely Sony and PlayStation themed, so we're gonna have to start trying to diversify and play some other games. Okay, Captain. I have bad news and worse news. The bad news is that you're the only one who didn't make it out of the dropship before we hit. The worst news is that you're the only mech warrior anywhere near here. Here's a quick status report. It was a rough landing, but the Icarus held together, mostly. At the first sign of trouble, we hot-dropped the other combat teams. Bravo Lance is out there somewhere, but we've lost all contact. Is there something beyond worse? Here it comes. The dropship's long-range sensors and weapon systems are out. They'll be coming for us, and soon. Lieutenant Foster tells me that most of our battle mechs are offline, but he's trying to get one up and running. So let's do what the Wolf Dragoons are paid to do. Improvise. Confirm your mech status, then recon and secure the immediate area. Fast. I'll keep trying to raise Bravo Lance on comm. Alright, well here we go. Gonna go right back in. Of course, just like last time, we only have the Cougar to start out with. Now, because I'm not just gonna be showing like a little one-off episode this time, I'm actually going to try and play to win. Last time I ended up dying because I used an Owens, and or did I die to the Owens to I using the Puma? Either way, I'm pretty much just going to try and Wait, win this time, so <laughs> I'll probably still mech? die occasionally, well, uh, but this is going to be a full let's play otherwise. I, so, oh, I'll actually whoa, try this time. In the canyon to the north of our position. We've got company. Mech warrior, proceed north and investigate. Breathing boy, we need to talk. Yes, yes. Oh, right off the bat. I, uh, sorry about the pause automatically, but... Right off the bat, just like last time, I made a new profile just for this Let's Play. And they default the control inversion. Which is fine for some games. And I even tend to do it on joystick-based MechWarrior games, but not Mech Assault. The sensor readings not with a controller. Use your jump jets to hop over short obstacles. Lieutenant, you are talking... Reading infantry based. <laughs> yes, yes. It's official. They know we're here and they will be coming for us. Um, I'm not exactly sure how long these videos are going to be. I'm probably just going to keep it to like one or two missions per episode. This one will probably be two just because I've these uh, missions like are short early on. You should check it out. More but eh. Are they crazy? These guys must be fanatics. Don't waste your ammo. Pretend that those poor bloody infantry are bugs and step on them. Confirmed. Supply convoy it is. Oh, okay. There we go. Mech warrior, that convoy <clears throat> was going somewhere. Find out where. Lieutenant Foster, can you get us some coordinates? 
Almost got him online. There we go. Uh, well, I've also been doing some thinking. This might actually be like a feature on the channel for a while at least. I mean, I'm clearly going to play the first Mech Assault all the way through. But I'm thinking after this, I'll move on to 2, and maybe, uh, you know, other games in the franchise. Just do all Battletech stuff. I mean, most people don't know this, especially fans of Mech Assault, but there's actually a third game in the series. For the Nintendo DS, no less, called Shadow War or something like that. Sure, Phantom here, War. Looks like an infantry headquarters I used to own a copy. But I'm getting some weird readings. But I can pick it up again. I'm gonna do another playthrough of that. And then after that, maybe move on to the Mech Warrior games proper. Although that's gonna be a weird setup. Most of the older Mech Warrior games don't like newer computers in general, so I'll have to do some sort of weird voodoo magic to get that to record properly. New readings. Whoa, that's some sort of hybrid power armor. Hybrid power armor? What is going on here? Planetary militias don't have power armor. I never really got that. Why wouldn't they have power armor? It's a lot cheaper to make one of those than a whole mech. You'd think they'd have that in droves. But no, that's the Battletech universe in general. It's just weird. Ah, uh, this game gets really slowdy. It's also really annoying to kill these power armors because they have way too much health for how little they are. Like when you get to pilot an elemental later, spoilers, you get to pilot an elemental later, it is not as chunky as these things are. And these aren't even like full blown power armor, these are just wannabes. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> There we go. Who's left? Ah, just the base, isn't it? Come on now. There we go. Foster is reading no more signatures. Return to the Icarus ASAP. Yeah, see that mission was only a few minutes long. So we're gonna do at least one more this episode. Sirs, I'm receiving a video feed from Bravo Lance. Finally. Transmit it. to move on with the campaign on our own for now our first priority is to cripple the defensive capabilities of the enemy we're going to start by attacking their communications infrastructure foster brief him sir just as a note i've configured a version of the cougar i'm calling the puma it may help against infantry the yeah, under guard, there's a large enemy force in the area you'll need to destroy the enemy forces and some specified targets a fourth base houses the comm tower complex on a ridge simple blow it right simple yeah the puma is cool in some aspects but no we're not we're no, no. 
cougar. <clears throat> Much more well-rounded. The PPC on the Puma is just too slow to use against most things. Not when you're that small and you only have one of them. Which is annoying because that was actually the cool thing about the Puma in sure. Battletech. Like it actually carries two on a light chassis. Infantry. It's just, Again, you know, easy to take out, to but you got good luck getting close to it. Alrighty. There was a Sir, crunch sound in there. Enemy bases. Infantry, tanks, and turrets. Let them have it. Lieutenant Foster, I want you to monitor their communications. No surprises. And try to figure out who these guys are. I'm thinking about Mech Assault 2 again. These these tunnels are in Mech Assault 2 and you gotta take them out every time because they just spawn enemies. Now in this they just jump over hills and stuff. are dying a little bit easier than they did last time, which is weird. I don't think they adjust their health for later levels to be lower, but eh, who knows. One thing that this game and its sequel always got right, though, is it's got a rockin' soundtrack when things get tense. Ah, walked right into that. But see, now that I'm not using that PPC and waiting for it to charge, I'm taking a lot less hits. That thing's... If they say that thing's for anti-infantry, but it's really an anti-slow mech weapon. But, again, in a game like this, the arcade version, just carrying one of them is not enough, no matter how fast you move. above in this game, I don't think. Nah, you just kind of land by them with Death from Above was a fun mechanic that would just basically just use your jump jets and squish them. Ooh. Don't actually think I have to destroy the buildings in the base, it's just kind of destroy the defenders. He's the one where the mech Sir, shows up. I'm reading a battle mech. A uh, light. Looks like an Owens. Careful, sport. This won't be like fighting tanks and infantry. Doesn't help that he's backed up by a bunch of tanks. But this should be fairly easy.
almost got him. You're not getting away. There we go. Let's see if I can find some more health salvage though. See if there's anything else left up in the space. It looks like there's a couple tanks or infantry. Sir, the communication tower complex is on the ridge behind the base. Take it down along with the defenders and we can be on our way. Go squish. Come on now. Uh, trees. Oh. There we go. up. I'm wondering why they didn't say anything. There they go. Sirs, before the array went offline, I got some intel. Seems like the planet is run by some sect of the Word of Blake. Word of Blake? That explains the fanatics. Okay, we can't worry about it. We have a lot of Dragoons depending on us, no matter who we're fighting. Ah, uh, I gotta destroy these barracks so that these guys stop spawning. There we go. 